G'day, mates. We're stepping back in time. 60s, 70s. Can you believe the 70s were 50 years ago? That doesn't even make sense to me. I'm one of those people that think the 70s were like 30 years ago. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, these are old Aussie adverts. This is from Green Yoshi. 93 is a channel. This will be linked in the description down below. So go check them out. I'll be browsing a few clips here. And uh, this is a email suggestion from Robert. Thank you. Here we go. Ooh. Last, an orange drink good enough to earn the black label. New Terex black label orange. It's <laughs> irresistibly orange. Just as you can tell a good lover by the aftershave he wears. <laughs> you can tell a good orange drink by its... Mm. Use black label orange as a mixer or drink it naked. <laughs> well, there you have it. That is one way to drink it. Wow. What was that? What? Orange drink. Black label. Terex. All right. You got to comment below. Did you drink Terex naked? <laughs> wow. Ooh, screaming demons. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god, the screaming girl and everything. <laughs> okay, so are these motorized? Or are they like wind-up toys, maybe? Where you wind it back and they go? I don't know, they're pretty cool. <laughs> oh my god, that girl had to scream like the whole commercial. Something entirely new from Matchbox. Electric powered scorpions. Oh, that's no kind of cool. Matchbox scorpions carry their own power units. All right, look at that. It's like slot cars, but not slot cars. You can even control their speed. Just like real racing cars. Matchbox scorpions. Wow. The electric cars that you control. No kidding. Your cars and sets wherever Matchbox... Okay, so that seems like kind of impressive for the time. How did that work? They're turning the knob trackside somewhere, and I didn't see any... Uh, is that like some sort of remote control? Kind of like a slot car would be, but without the grooves? I don't know. It seems interesting. Uh, I didn't see any wires or anything, right? I Did you have Matchbox Scorpions? I would love to hear them. That's kind of... Toys hear about them. It's kind of uh, interesting, yeah? Oh, this is totally retro. This is Pop Tarts. Oh, Volvos! Yeah! We have gotten those in mail time. You guys are awesome. Uh, and I remember saying the first time we got them that they were like Pop Tarts. Uh, by the way, Arnett's, they make so many products, it makes your head spin. Uh, Ice Volvos, they are good. This American Ice loves Volvo. Ice Volvos. Ice Volvo. you got yourself an Ice Volvo. Delicious. <laughs> Their package is, uh, has evolved quite a bit, I'd say. In the spring, the nature-loving Australian goes bush. He cruises contentedly, <laughs> the city's hazards behind him. With a tank full of Caltex butane boosted gasoline, he <laughs> cruises non stop for hours. Peace and contentment are his. Time to refuel with Caltex butane boosted gasoline. Driving into a Caltex station, he says without hesitation, uh, What brand of gasoline you sell here? <laughs> Caltex, huh? <clears throat> Moving on, what would normally probably be a baseball ad here in the U.S.? I think this is cricket, yeah? Yes, it is. Meet Australian test cricket idol, Richie Bono. For energy and zest, Richie relies on his yeah. favorite chocolate-flavored tonic food, Milo. Yeah, Milo. go Milo. Yes, Milo. It's marvelous what a difference Milo makes to keep you in... Let me not interrupt tonic him. Food. I'm sorry. I got excited. Milo. Hi there. Just enjoying some ice Milo. It's marvelous what a difference Milo makes to keep you in top form. Hell yeah. Milo is the bomb. If you don't already know, I know most of you watch, you probably know that. That's cool. Again, look at the packaging, so different. Yeah, Milo is awesome. That's cool. <laughs> I did not expect to see a Milo ad. That's so Aussie. 
wiping up, wiping up. I've had it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Sure, I sell realism in this commercial, but not at the expense of a camera. Let's get on with it. Oh, my God. Oh, the film came out. Ah, yes, with tricks, it's a different matter. Tricks. There's no wiping up problems with tricks in the house. The wife washes and Yogurt? the dishes dry themselves. And see how easily tricks removes dirt, leaves plates really clean. Okay. That's hilarious. Uh, T-R-I-X, tricks. Um, if you know my childhood, which was not 60s and 70s, uh, 90s, <laughs> here in the U.S. at least, uh, tricks was something else. I'll put a picture of it here uh, in editing. Yeah, that was my tricks. That was tricks yogurt, and uh, it was delicious, by the way. Um, and that is my idea of tricks. So that's pretty funny. This is a different tricks, and it's a cleaner. The woolens and the car. All right, I was coming to that. Or dish soap. See that car? It's just been washed with Ooh. tricks. The bloke who read the script. Wash it on. You can wash the car with it and wash the dishes. Perfect. Uh, bonus points. I, I'm sadly do not know what this is. What what kind of car are we looking at here? Someone will get that wash in the it. comments. I guarantee you. And for you. woolens, you can't beat the gentle, penetrating action of tricks wonder detergent. Wow. There are dozens of ways tricks. That's hilarious. Work. Buy a bottle and find out for yourself. You know, I played a lot of different roles in films and plays, and Brashes is a bit like that. A place of many different parts. Oh, wow. I mean, this is records here. That's kind of obvious, isn't it? But it's also cassettes and cartridges and all these accessories. <laughs> now, come on up to my favorite floor. Oh, my I God, look at it. Can. You see, I love good electronic gear, and it's all here. Wow. Stereos, hi-fi, tape recorders, cassette recorders, TVs, everything. And great. Okay, this is fascinating to look at as someone who was not around for the 60s, 70s. Look at this store. Oh, my God. That is so fascinating. All the cassettes and tapes and what are like eight tracks, like all these different things I, I imagine would have been available. Look at these old TVs and stereo. <laughs> this is wild. You got to tell me down below if you remember walking in to a store like this that had, you know, during this era. That looks fascinating. If I could step back in time, that would be really cool to see. Hey, guys like Ken here to help you out. Right, Ken? Right. Right on. Pianos. Not really my thing, but man, they're a lot of fun. Hi, Mike. Musical instruments here, all kinds. And professionals like Frank here to help you out. You know what's cool, too? Everyone, this is this era, like you notice, like he looks real sharp, right? And pretty much everyone's dressed up like they got nice pants you know, the blazer on, uh, even a shirt and tie sometimes. Uh, I really, I, I like that. I think it's nice. I think it's uh, sharp. And at least here in, in the States, in America, you know, people used to dress like that too in the 60s and 70s. And now it's just not common, right? You just don't see it a lot. Everyone's always just in t-shirt and jeans or t-shirt and shorts or tank top or whatever. And uh, I guess it's the times they change, but it, it's cool. Like I, I kind of want to, aspire to dress like that sometimes you know like just look sharp you know take a little pride in your appearance i think it's cool right you know this has got to be the greatest range of electronic organs in town so it's no big surprise when i tell you that when professionals need something in sound they shop at brashes because they can't buy it for less anywhere <laughs> that's awesome man uh, that's cool. brashes sitting <laughs> suburban stores where the professionals shop for sound that was awesome the new Toyota Corolla is a beautiful motor car. Oh, a Corolla. What Look at that. Could it be? Oh, Corona. Oh, I'm sorry, Toyota Corona. Is that smaller than the Corolla? It was a very good There's a Corolla. Damn, that's old. <laughs> nice. That smile. <laughs> hey, they're on uh, some sort of lover's lane. Perfect. Or lover's lookout, something. Is this the same guy? Is this, uh, now he's in a Celica. 21, yeah. Okay, so it's progressing his life here. I like that Celica. It's kind of cool, actually, yeah. Ooh, is that the same same couple here? Yes, it is. Maybe they're married now or about to. Now he's up in into a what here? What do we got? 
25. Oh, yeah, he's got little tykes now. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Ooh, look at that beauty. Toyota Crown. Thirty-five. Wow. Nice ride. Graduated to the to the uh, flagship model. That was really cool. Those Toyota Crowns are awesome, and uh, I don't know much about old Toyotas, but I I don't think we got the Toyota Crown in the U.S. Of course, we got older Corollas and Celicas and stuff, um, but I do not remember ever seeing Crowns here like even at car shows or old car shows and stuff. So uh, that's really cool. I've heard of it somewhere because I, I recognize the name, and they're, I know they're big, like big, luxurious cars. But, uh, yeah, that's that's wild. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Uh, always fun seeing retro stuff, especially with an Aussie twist like this, like all these had. Can't wait to hear your comments on this. Uh, maybe you're a little young for these like I am. So uh, maybe you learned something and got a kick out of these. Or maybe you got to see these. Uh, tell me if you remember these, if some of these were your favorites. Uh, other good ones you would like to see at another time. I would love to hear from you. Use that link down there. Check out these original videos in full and browser channel. And uh, last but not least, guys, throw a like on there if you really enjoyed this. And, of course, subscribe to join this amazing community we have here. We're almost at 100,000. I cannot believe it. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, y'all, we'll catch you later.